there's two aspects. One is the current clinical, you know, what we consider an optimal standard. And those are patients, you know, if they get a good evaluation, good staging, get multimodal therapy, chemotherapy, radiation, and then an aggressive operation. The next step is, is what do we do after that? We, we've had significant improvements in chemotherapy. However, there's basically only two regimens that have significant effect. So if we could identify better therapies, that would be the, probably the biggest impact. So how do we do that? So one of the things that, that we're doing here, as well as several other institutions, is all patients that come here to this institution to get their pancreas cancer operated on, we take a portion of their tumors, and we're able to take that, and we're able to amplify that in special uh, strains of mice. Therefore, we can actually grow that specific cancer patient's tumor in, an in, in a living in vivo model. We then can then perform next generation sequencing to see if it could identify any potential molecular targets that there are other drugs available for that we may not have considered for pancreas cancer. We can then test those drugs on those mice that have that patient's tumor, and we found that any response of these particular mice is going to significantly correlate with the response to that specific patient. And so that's, in my opinion, probably the, you know, the next five years where we're going to be going. More individualized uh, therapy for pancreas cancer, not just one drug for all patients, but multiple drugs for different types of patients.